behold the artwork and masterpiece of engineering that is a Tesla battery module. Here's three. Nope, there's 12. And here's two more, which makes one complete pack from a S75 battery. So, let me give you some numbers. It is 74P6S, 233 amp hours. So there's 444 cells in there and a camera that doesn't focus. About 5.3 kilowatt hours and each cell is roughly 3,150 milliamp hours capacity. We have the BMS board that Tesla uses, still on board, no pun intended. Um, and we also are able to remove the board and just have these connections. So I know that there are some... Ah, I'll go into applications later. So we do have that. We also have, so this one's the other way around, coolant connections. So here's in and out, or maybe out and in, I can't remember. Um, and these are flat pipes that run up and down and up and down through the module. So you can heat or cool your modules to keep them at the um, ideal temperature. Stop them from overheating, heat them up so that you don't destroy them on cold mornings and can charge them quickly when they are not warm enough for it otherwise. So yeah, I am just blown away by the energy density, the way they've packed these things, they're wonderful. So if we look right in here, uh, you've probably seen them all before, but I just have to geek out on it myself. So I mean, so simple, these little packaging, it's like the stuff you get your, um, if you were to buy donuts or um, some kind of a Danish pasty, pastry from a supermarket, just clicks in. And then here we are right down on it and like, just look, each cell with its own little connection. So if any one of those cells goes bad and turns into a short circuit, instead of having a disaster on your hands, you burn one of those fuses and your battery has lost 1 74th of its capacity, but it's still a happy battery overall. Contrast that with one of these Nissan Leaf things, which has got four big, big cells within each of these metal cases. So four, 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 four. If any one of those goes bad, your history, that, that whole thing is gone wrong. So I've heard people say that this is not a good thing because if one cell goes bad, you've lost the whole pack and there's so many cells, there's a good chance of it. People who say that, they don't understand how this thing works. But yeah, it's just a, it's a work of beauty, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm an engineer and I call this art. I'm sure artists would laugh at me, but um, I don't care. I just think it's wonderful. So yeah, there you go. I am very happy to have a bunch of these in the workshop. I am also happily going to be trying to sell some. So I guess that's where I go into applications. So these are roughly 25 volts per bank. So you stick two of them together in series and you have got roughly 50 volts, which is ideal for a, an awful lot of solar applications. So just that plus that is slightly over 10 kilowatt hours. I'm guessing it's what's inside a power wall as well. But that, slightly over 10 kilowatt hours. My Nissan Leaf house battery over here, that's possibly about 15 kilowatt hours. So I could probably replace that. Well, I would only need three of these to, to, to go above that thing in the corners capacity. And then with this, I'd even have the opportunity to heat and cool it. So really cold days, especially, would be a worry for some people. Um, yeah, so it's amazing for that. And you can fit it to, I know you can do Orion BMS by avoiding that. You can basically do any BMS system for lithium batteries on here. 
Um, then you can also do stuff that still uses, so Orion and any other BMS you'd use the connections here which are the the, um, the BMS connections, just the straight cell level connections. And I'm guessing, yep, there's another little ribbon under there. The pinouts are quite easy to find. Then there's other people doing BMSs. I believe Jack Rickard EVTV sells ones that plug straight into here. And that's absolutely epic because then you don't have battery voltage coming out on a bunch of cables, so you've got much simpler wiring. And also, I believe you then can see what Tesla's limits are in terms of how you should, how many volts this thing is happy to have um, and how hot and cold it's happy to run. Um, so there's your most basic application, your solar. Um, there you're kind of under using it because like the, the highest current you're going to draw out of this is not very much compared to what it can do, which is in the hundreds of amps. Where you would want hundreds of amps is in an electric vehicle conversion. And again, the, the power density here is amazing. You know, this... That... Plus that... 10 kilowatt hours. So, stick two above, and you're on 20. That behind us is an original Nissan Leaf battery pack which is 24 kilowatt hours and not very um, energy dense shall we say. So yeah, they are amazing for that and they're, they're all done for you. you know, something about building your own battery, I did it on my house battery that I've already shown you over there. I've done it on a, 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 a Toyota Hilux conversion. Building the BMS takes forever. It's easy to get wrong um, and you're never ever going to do it as well as the factory. So these cells are just outstanding for that, these modules I should say. Um, yeah, so I'm just in awe of these and, and I've got nothing much more to say. I think maybe I didn't say, I believe the coolant connections are 5 sixteenths of an inch. Um, they come out on the Calipers, it's roughly 7.93 millimeters, and most pipe is still strange old imperial. 5 sixteenths makes most sense for those numbers. Um, yeah, so there you go, last of the detail. Just, just instead, behold the wonder. Yep, super stoked. So all of this lot here, the 12 over there and the two here, nominally 75 kilowatt hours. It's just ridiculous. Utterly awesome. <laughs> so yeah, goodbye from a very happy Neil with his um, Tesla guts from one of those. <laughs>